but maybe I will in a moment. Ooh, there's blue again. What happened there? Something happened in the surface world as well. Is there someone here, do you think? Could be in for a comeuppance here, Galari. Galar? Galare? Pick a side. Pick a freaking option. I have to kind of say, I, I don't need to waste this movement. I can kind of see if it's safe. I can sail along here, land somewhere further down, and then just gallop up the road to that. I kind of just want to see what's here. I don't want to end my turn next to the coast because you can be attacked. I can easily clear that. May as well go there through the teleporter. Um, okay. Oh. Let's, what are these doing here? I don't have to fight these at all. I could just run past them. Oh, but Pandora's box is so good. She could get like five levels, character levels. Then again, in the early game, I don't know if maybe Pandora's box is turned down and intentionally to be less powerful. Uh, I do get these combat bonuses. YOLO. It's very good news. Lots can mean any number up to about 50. We're looking at 20. I can't do any maths. My brain is gone. 26. And we have the first turn. We have movement 9. I thought they were movement 9. They are okay, yeah. So they'll get the first turn next turn, I think, or something like that. Undead drains life, no retaliation. They're health 40. I thought they were health 30. Yeah, I guess we're obviously just waiting. There's never a, mor a morale flash risk here. Um, they're all waiting for her to shoot before they act, although weirdly... What? All four of them paused. So I can pause, but it's pointless. Um, yeah. I don't know. I could sit here for ages or worry about it. Wow. Oh my god. I think we're dead. Out of interest. Oh, she went to 15. She'll go second, actually. Maybe one of these goes first, and then I go second. Acting first again. Oh, I really thought it did alternate. Kill him while you can. That's Dax dead, surely. Yeah, and that, he's gone forever. Yeah. Tell me when it's over. Ooh! Oh, how many did I lose? 96, so I've already lost 20. Attacking here is kind of pointless. Yeah. Oh, what am I down to now? 83? What happens if I stone skin a second time? God, that's really powerful. If that. One of them on his own isn't going to cause the whole stack to come back to life, right? So, yeah, let's do this. Does it stack? How can I play this game for 22 years and not know that it doesn't stack? Half my girls. Oh, don't rise for a bit. Oh, no. 
my full life, okay. Um, why don't I magic arrow you? And then I get to shoot. Whoa! How many did I kill? Three, that's pretty good. Oh, ooh, six more down. Oh, it makes me so sad. 155 damage. Um, and after I've done it, I'm going to attack with the ice elementals. And then you go next. So that means I can wait and see. Uh, whether they can kill you. 39. Yeah, you're dead. Right. Well, it's not run ending. But 62 sprites. I'm just not used to losing troops in this run through. That's the first time I've actually lost anything of any... Uh, ever? That might be my first loss of any troops. It sounds like I'm bragging. <coughs> Maybe I am a little. <laughs> I feel simply terrible for having let them die. Um, obviously the stone skin stacking thing was yeah, um, deep in my mind I knew that it didn't stack. I don't know why I was foolish enough to think that it did stack. Oh, um, uh, she got plus one knowledge as well though, but that that's excellent. That means she's got 80 spell points. <sighs> was it worth it? 60 sprites? Yes. <laughs> Let Beetha learn something. Vampire lords are good. Right. Don't know how many levels she's going to pick up here. Do we want fire magic? I don't know, so if I don't know, I'm just going to do the... Ooh, yes. Uh... Yeah, but she's already level 7. I'm just going to take this, right? Expert slow. It's just so good. More knowledge. Ooh. Hmm. Yeah. Haven't seen first aid tent anywhere nearby. Yeah. Having scholars as the conflux seems good. It's better than first aid for her. Oh man, see, 10,000 experience, holy. It was it worth the 60 sprites? Heck yes. I said no to sorcery earlier. Um, yeah, I'll say no again. Oh my god. And there's water magic, that, that's what we've been waiting for. I think we are saying yes to that once it comes online. Pick this up at some point. So she's shaping up nicely. She's looking really, really good now. This is what she looks like without the flail. Um, was it worth the exchange? Yes, yes it was. Do I still want to buy the... Oh, was that the Necklace of Swiftness? Hello. And they say, ah oh, yes, this is just what I was looking for. Pendant of Holiness, no. We're going to go for that. We're definitely going to go for that. Um, I won't worry about the windmill waiting around. Let's just get back to town. Yep. In fact, I might be able to get the loins back home. Can I get the loins home? I can. Here's an annoying thing. I've got to be sitting here in the town for the loins to work, and then I've got to run up here, get these, bring them back, upgrade them, and uh, uh, uh. Which is annoying. <laughs> Lots of halberdiers. Should be okay. Lots of war skeleton warriors, a horde of familiars. These are all doable, even with 56, they're still doable. Oh, but she's tired. I'm gonna do it today. Um What is that? Dendroid archers. 
Oh, okay. Dendroid archers being there means that there's a rampart nearby. Um, <clears throat> I'm just going to do it. I'm just still living the trauma of having lost so many. Um, I guess just do nothing. Wait, wait. Oh, would be annoying here. I really don't want to waste them. I only have 13 spell points left. I really don't want to waste them. I'm going to kill about 12 of you, 15 maybe? Oh, yep. Screw Alright, that's the end of my turn. I am going to get the capital. Stick to the plan. Oh, he finally came back and he got the yawning dead shield, and now he's coming to get the prisoner. Oh! <gasps> that? There's an orange guy here. Can I see who he is? No, he's just out of range. Oh, that's solid. That was their starting hero, Solmir. If he catches us, we are dead. We are so dead. Oh, and he easily could catch us, actually. You probably won't come galloping all the way down through here in one turn, though. Um, obviously we're doing this. Visiting a local wise man, you explain the intent of your journey. He reaches into a sack and withdraws a strange necklace, which he hands to you. You can't help but notice it is the necklace of swiftness. The very artifact you've been seeking all this time. This should be straightforward. Yes, I do. Okay. And we're back to if fights being easy again for a while. Whatever. Well, it was killing. A bit arrogant of me, but anyway. Da da do, da da do. Hard to mess up. Okay, and I've got plus one attack. Android archers. Could be quite good to get some dendroids. I love those gems though. I think I have to get this for the gems, actually. That's made that's changed my mind. Yeah. Oh. And these fights are way easier than I'm assessing them to be from the uh, adventure map. Just because of the vampires and the creeps. Look at that. One shot of them. No morale. Morale's the only problem. Could lose like 12 girls. Yeah. Should be enough, shouldn't it? I haven't done the maths, but surely. Alright, I think it's okay. Yeah. Uh, give me those. I don't even think we're gonna check in here. Right, it looks like it does open up. It looks like it's curving slightly there, so it opens up and around here, and that road probably runs all the way up that way. Oh! <gasps> There's a homestead. Oh, I want whatever, wherever this rampart is, I want it. I want it really badly now that I know that that's there. There's a rampart town here. Ish. And there's free extra elves for the lucky sod who conquers the rampart. Now I have no spell points and no army. And I need Solmir to take a hike. You can't be too greedy and you cannot plan too too far ahead. Um Okay, found some free resources. Why wouldn't I? It's going to be hard to move on this surface. Oh, we'll have to kill some sprites. It's a bit jarring. Still sticking to the plan, I think, here. Can't do it, don't have a castle. Forgot. Forgot completely that that was a thing. Uh, 
Uh, I do, uh, having said that, I don't think it's a tragedy that we haven't been spending money. Um, if I could have my time back, I would probably have built something yesterday at least. This can wait until people get here. Ooh, an additional mercury, not the thing we need. Resource silo, okay. So I think it's either a citadel or a one of these altars, but these two units are so boring and not very interesting. I think it's a citadel. And uh, to get the capital we need a castle first, so yeah, let's head towards a capital, but we're going to buy troops and let this money plunge right down to a low value. Six, so that's a pretty big army I'll be pulling out, um, pulling down tomorrow. Lines of Legion, let's get them home. I know about uh, this thing we were talking about before. And we'll just have to see, can we afford all of the troops that, that want to come on stream tomorrow? Yeah, so I do have to fight the orcs, I can't just stand there. But Solmir could just come and kill me in one go, so... Uh, as much as I love that homestead, but we'll have to wait. Yes. Oh, he's got backup. But he's going up towards the rampart. Okay. How good is the backup? Rissa the Alchemist. So, yeah, I'm sort of half tempted to see if I could sting her. Can I? Really? If I show myself here though, she'll just go boom and run away, and I certainly don't want to run after her. <sighs> this is a pickle. I must say, this is a pickle. <coughs> May as well take this, although well, we've got plenty of sulfur. I could come down here, I don't have to fight them. Thank God. Um, this will take me a whole day. Oh. Oh. Feel bad here, but aren't you just dead? Sorry. If only you couldn't you join me. Sorcery. This guy knows. He's a water mage, he definitely knows Ice Bolt. Could be good. Yeah. Can come this way, so that's good. Oh man, he used all his moves just doing that. So that's tomorrow's movement there. That's as far as he's going. Okay, Alamar. What happened with the um, loins? Did it work? He does have them equipped, right? Yeah. So there's 14 there now. It would have been 10, but there's 4 extra. Pretty good. If you click this button... But it's about time because level two was fantastic and we've had very good luck, generally speaking, in the rest of the game. Um, um, I doesn't need to get these yet. Where are you? Come to me. Oh, this is awkward. Um, a couple of ways to set this up. I could stay up here and let him gallop up and deliver the army to me tomorrow. Then I come around here, kill the orcs, walk through here, confront Solmir. Um, the other way to do it is I could just gallop down here right now and scare her off and keep her away from the prisoner. 
and come up through here, clear the prisoner and get whatever the dwarfs are guarding. It's probably a bit better. Solomon might come down to contest, to come and sort of confront her with the, this army. And then, surprise, I've got a bigger army. Obviously she's not a problem the way she is. The question is, can Solmir get to her? I think he galloped up this way, I don't think he can get to her. It's a risk. But I think it's the right way to go. Yes. Okay, please don't kill me. There she goes. Here he comes. Yeah, but he's miles away. Okay, he's got the elves. Son of a gun. We're going to have to go down in here and clean her clock. There's a couple of ways of doing that, actually. We could use Alamar to do that. Basically pin her in here. I need to kind of get her to the wishing well anyway. <laughs> I think we're both coming down this way, actually, because we both want to stay clear of Alamar. Ah, Solmir. There you go, learn these useless spells. I will take the girls, you take these. And with... Oh my god, 37's not that many, is it? Can I really face Solmir with this army? Oh, by the way... Oh no, I'll wear that, actually. Keep 96 of them alive. Not really ready to, to kill Solmir, I don't think. I'd beat him. Um, I don't think. Can I do this without the sprites? I just don't. Typically, what happens here is that Rissa will cast Ice Bolt and kill half my sprites and then flee. So she's going to be a proverbial, I'd rather she did it to the air elementals. I think this is okay. Yeah, you see what I mean? Uh, so let's just fire first. I can waste spell points here. I think that's how that works. So I might be able to actually kill Rissa rather than have a flea. You just don't get a turn. Speed 5? Protection from air. <laughs> Speed 5. Which is slower than me, so wake up, go ahead, and now die. You're going to take at least 80? Yeah, you, you, you're dead. I have to roll exceptionally low. Rissa is dead. That's really, really useful. Sad she didn't have any artifacts. Um, oh, damn it. Alright, Alamar can't come anywhere near me here. Um, thing I mean. Maybe he can, and if he can, I'll just stand here just to be safe. It's an annoying part of the game is trying to guess how far your opponents can move. Oh man, I'm just getting bogged down here. Hey folks, sorry for the jump. Um, I lost about an hour of recording time there. Uh, problem with my OBS, <clears throat> something to do with the camera. Wasn't picking up the audio properly, I came across all squeaky. Um, so I don't want to show you an hour's worth of squeaky chipmunk commentary. Um, just to fill you in on what has happened uh, in that time. The main thing that happened is we... Um, Crossed our fingers, actually, that Solmir uh, would not come down and challenge us, and thankfully he didn't. We freed the prisoner that was here, we beat the Crusaders. The prisoner is Velasca, uh, level 10, expert leadership archery and estates, that's 500 bucks a day, and artillery. We basically spent the rest of the week running away from Solmir. He never actually came down here, but we were scared, so I, I, I realised that there's just no way we can beat him. Um, because of chain lightning, uh, chain lightning would 
just murder half of our sprites on turn one. His army is too good. Um, we did that. Uh, the other thing we did is we got the Necklace of Swiftness. I think that was part of the last session. You, got, you, you guys saw us get the Necklace of Swiftness. Uh, we gave that to the Tim. We gave it to Tim. And Tim gave us 25 Grand Elves you know, as a reward. I was actually minded to even just say no and to keep the Talisman of because it was a, a talisman of swiftness. Gives you extra um, movement. Um, in, the, in the end, we did do the swap, and we got the 25 elves. Part of the reason why the elves are so great, of course, is uh, Valeska is an expert archer. Um, and she comes with 11 archers. Sadly, we aren't going to be able to leverage that, really, once they die. that Her, her specialty goes away. The other thing I found out, which is a real bummer, is that these ranged units do uh, trigger with archery but they don't care about leadership you can't get positive morale events with elementals so yet another thing to write home about with elementals you know just this is part of the problem with conflux the sprites are great but they have a shelf life and um, like yeah chain lightning and or let's say vampire lords that we've faced before they will eventually curve off and stop being effective and these things the Ice Elementals I found to be very expensive for what they do. Lightning Elementals a little bit less so. Obviously Grand Elves are exceptional, uh, but there's only 25 of them. Um, <clears throat> so all the heroes sort of came back to base. We taught Valeska how to cast spells. Uh, <laughs> didn't come with a spell book, so I had to buy one. She ran around then all of the um, th these uh, upgrade areas, so that's all happened. And now we've sent her back out again. She's our main hero, our lead hero. We've sent it to here. We've got this army. Modest, you would say. Um, I want to capture the Rampart and, and start getting the homestead. Doubling down on elves, obviously, works really well with Valeska. I'm willing to face Solmir up here. I don't think I can attack him if he's behind the walls, but he probably won't be. He'll probably, he probably isn't even any anywhere near here by now. Anyway, before we go up here, though, we've got a really interesting conundrum. Uh, which is that because of the efforts of this guy, Gellar, um, he found a Redwood Observatory, and I can actually see Blue's hometown. It's over here. It's got nothing in it, as you can see. Um, as soon as Valeska moved into range of the Fog of War, what Blue did on its turn is it hired Isra and purchased the week's worth of, of creatures. So literally I could in two turns, bring uh, a siege to to their tower, to their tower town. Um, literally, there's an underground subterranean, subterranean gate here, so I could just run down here, gallop up to here, uh, and engage. I'm working on the assumption I can't get there in one turn. Um, if I could get there in one turn, I would definitely do it. Like here, for example. Uh, so yeah, I, it's a bit of a last gasp. I don't know how well this is going to go, to be honest. Whether Valeska really does have enough soldiers to capture the Rampart, because capturing cities... Ar archery is not the greatest skill for capturing cities. <laughs> Having creatures with flying is... Um, you know, like dragons is, is, is better. So I could go for the bowstring, but I think I'd rather try to get the drop on... Um, my opponent, I assume the town is at the end of the road. I might get lucky. I did get lucky. Um, we can always come back and get the bowstring later if we're able to. Um, okay, maybe Israel will get it, but yeah, there's a good chance of us being able to get it. It might be worth having Labelia. Labitha. I'll get it right one day. Uh, it might be worth having her in the neighbourhood. Uh, the problem is getting trapped. Getting trapped by Isra. Which I'm a bit worried about. Um, I resolved that Galar is going to fight these. Pack of power, power likes. Um... The reason for that is that he has the ability to um, 
ice bolt. And I wanted to experiment with forgetfulness. I've got tons of mana. Um, with advanced forgetfulness, the entire stack forgets to use its ranged attack. <laughs> it just seems so funny, this idea of you've got this big fancy army of soldiers and then a spell gets cast on them and they just forget. <laughs> anyway. Uh, I don't know if I have the first turn, though. Let's find out. I do. Oh, no forgetfulness. No forgetfulness, sadly. Okay, this could go really badly now. I, ugh, that's the worst possible layout. Ah, oh, gee. It's more than ma their maximum? Greater than their normal maximum, so... Shouldn't matter, though. I mean, I'm killing two, which won't put one way or the other. Seven damage. Okay, so I'm going to lose at least two here, I think. Oh, this is bad. I'm sad. I'm sad watching them die. I'm sad watching them die. I'm turning down the combat music on my speakers. You guys will still be able to hear it, but... It's just a bummer. Just a bummer. Sad, really. Kill two more. Guess these guys. And I'll ice bolt. So I assume blind doesn't work on undead at all. I'm surprised I forgot that, but there it is. Guess I'll go for this. Yeah, I'll go for these guys. Oh, wait, wait. you. What? 74 damage? Oh, there's less of them. Because <laughs> they're dying. <laughs> oh, I may have misjudged. Ugh, come on. Really? I'm losing all my dudes. Health left six. Health left twenty six. Uh, uh, this is bad. These guys hit hard. Crikey, oh man. These guys hit very hard. Oh, I'm just gonna have to stand here like an idiot. Ugh, who's next? Just keep ice bolting, I guess. I'm losing. Six damage, seven damage, he's still alive. And spell points, by the way. Alright, kill you. Please don't have another one. Oh. This artifact better be incredible. An old shaman stands in the road before you, screaming something in a language you can't understand. He suddenly vanishes in a cloud of smoke. When the smoke clears, there's a long string of dragon teeth in the spot where he was standing. Necklace of dragon teeth. Bling! It gives a nice little noise. Ooh! Worth it! Well, worth it, yeah. Fantastic, fantastic uh, artifact. 
but uh, it came at a, it came at great cost. <clears throat> Have I visited this today? Seems unlikely. Uh, I mean, this this week. So I'll just play it safe. So we'll stick together. Alamar, you've got the loins right. I at least got that right. Okay. Um, I'm not really interested in investing in him just yet. Don't really have a job for him to do though. Just stay on station, I suppose. Don't have enough money to build anything, I don't think, of interest. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, please don't kill me. Right. Idra, what are you doing? Oh yeah, Tan. I forgot to mention there's this Tan guy. <laughs> it's because he's he's camouflaged against the, against the thing. Um, yeah, this guy's here. Ivor. Uh, army actually isn't enormous, but... Um, yeah. He's here. So... Um, <clears throat> Let's just hope he doesn't find his way over to our side of the water. Nothing from our friends. There it is. I'm about to right click. Takeable. I think you'll agree. Now that little symbol there, which you can't see me pointing at. I, don't, I, can't, I can't point at it. But the little symbol of a castle that's next to the gold coins there means that it's just a fort. It's not a citadel, and it's not a castle. In other words, there's no arrow towers. So we will walk into that town and take it. Which means if we see Solmir coming, we can jump behind the walls, and then he will have he will have a hard time, even with chain lightning, he'll have a hard time dislodging us. Oh man, that's really good way. So where has he gone? I don't think there's an arrow tower. Yeah, there isn't. Um, yeah. I don't think there's any need for anyone to do anything here at all. Um, yeah, I'm good, I'm good. Well, this is interesting. Um, yeah. I say it's actually not bad. Normally, I think the ballista is a bit weak, it's a bit poor. Um, Thank you for coming on out here and uh, making this so easy for me. Can I fight that? Okay. Sprites have a good time here. Well, against those guys, my army felt pretty strong, actually. I wish I had an observatory inside my town. It's just a town hall? Oh no, yeah, okay, town, well, oh, still. So they haven't invested. I was hoping they hadn't even built a homestead. <sighs> I already know Stone Skin. I am the Stone Skin Master. I didn't know Cure, so that's something. <sighs> now I think I might have made the wrong decision now, now that I've seen this. Normally I expect that. I expected Blue to have spent money here, but they haven't really. They had not even build that. That's a no-brainer. Right, so my whole, the whole appeal of coming here was I get to be ar the archery queen, right, with access to the best archer in the game, and a free dwelling where I can keep buying them. <laughs> 